This is a video about installing a power supply into a server that I recently acquired from the recycling center that has two terabytes of storage. Six days ago, I ordered a power supply for the HP ProLiant ML350 Generation 5, which this is a Generation 6, and I didn't do them enough research. So, I ordered this one, which is hopefully the right thing, I mean, it, it is. So. I'll, I'll be showing a video of my disappointment at realizing that I got the wrong power supply. See if it fits. No. I don't think it does. That's great. So this is going to be going into the first power supply slot and it fits okay so I've created a test bench of sorts I guess you could call it a test bench so you might have noticed that I have an external power supply because the server only had five SATA power cords, or cables, in the small space here, and I couldn't find any others. And I have six drives, so I, uh, I'm jump-starting this power supply, where is it? I'm jump-starting this power supply. Oh. Now I'm jump-starting jump the power supply to give one, let's say, to power, or power one drive. Technically, this does have two power supplies. As you can see, there are LEDs blinking, and there is a blue LED. So this is getting power, and has not malfunctioned yet, and I'm using an IBM Model M, an original IBM Model M that I restored, because it was covered in dirt and hair. And I was surprised to see that it was not yellowed at all, from what I can tell. For very little. So, it works. Even after being completely soaked in water. After a few days, all the water evaporated and it works fine. So, I think it's time to test the server. There's on. Okay, cool. Okay. So I guess I'll shut it down and then find out why it's not recognizing the drives. So I accidentally turned it on because, uh, I don't know, I'm used to just turning on computers. So now I have it on shelf of computers. Now I'm just gonna wait for the server to put the fans onto high power mode and then this um, display to actually open things. Hopefully it recognizes the drives this time. And the other 
power supply is running. Oh, no. At least it's, uh, in the network, so let's see what's wrong. I'm hoping that it's not loading the drives because it's disabled in the BIOS, which I wasn't able to get to because the front USB ports don't work for some reason. Which also might be disabled in the BIOS. So, I'm really hoping that's the problem. If it isn't, then, well, I guess I'll have to save up for some SAS drives so I can put them in here. Maybe everything is disabled in the BIOS. Is the server on? Yes, it is. Wow. Okay. One dead pixel on the entire monitor. I got it for eight dollars. The server was free. And this Apple Cinema HD display was free. So is that monitor and that monitor? Actually, no. That monitor was also eight dollars, maybe. It was 10, 16. Got that iMac for free. Along with all of these computers. And this keyboard. Pretty much everything on that shelf is also free. It's pretty nice. Same thing with these uh, power, parallel power ports or expanders. Let's see. So definite the USB thing on there definitely works. The boots, the free NAS, and all the drives are running. All the drives are running. Drives are in fact running. They're all plugged in. Pretty sure. You can see the Surface mounted LED. It's a focusable flashlight. You can focus it down and see the shape of it. I think it's pretty funny. Gonna catch this before it goes away. It does recognize every single drive, all six of them, in installation. So I'm hoping that after reinstalling FreeNAS, it'll actually work. Along with the network interfaces. Installation finished, and hopefully it works. Why? That is not a good sign. I think it actually recognized the drives, even though it gave it a bunch of errors at the beginning. It might have been a good sign. But me, or maybe it's a bad sign, but maybe it's a good sign for me. Or I think a better way to say that is maybe it was a, it wasn't a bad sign what I'm trying to do. 
Alright, this is gonna take a while, it's gonna restart again, because it's uh, transferring all the files and stuff, so... I'm gonna stop it for now. Alright, I think it's about time that the screen turned back on. Maybe? Yeah, there we go. Time for the moment of truth. After... A while. Oh, more errors. Great. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I think that's a good sign. Now all I need is the network interfaces, which I'm hoping work. I mean, the hard drives work, or recognize maybe the network interfaces will be recognized. Hoping. It's only one way to find out. Come on. Oh. No! Why? Alright, so as you can see, I got it working. And the problem ended up being the device I was booting it off. So, yeah. I got a new USB drive and reinstalled FreeNAS and it worked. Now I'm in, now I just have to import all of the uh, ZFS, the one ZFS volume, and then make sure all the plugins are working, and then make another user account, and I'll have my two terabytes back, plus, or two NICs, so I have two IPs, which, I'm not sure, might mean two users might be able to use this at least locally, and not lose any uh, connection speed, at least two. It's two gigabit, gigabit um, network interfaces going into a gigabit switch. So locally, it should be a fast connection with two users. It's good.